What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Kevin. For tonight, I wanted to do another video on my uh, new 3080. This is the EVGA for the Win 3 Ultra model. I just got it, uh, like I said earlier this week, I've been uh, messing around with it. I kind of wanted to do a video to demonstrate um, just kind of what type of headroom you're able to gain, what type of performance you're able to gain if you know you fiddle with all the card settings. Uh, so to best demonstrate that, uh, I just want to show, we'll do a quick run. This is definitely in default settings. This is as if you took the card out the box, dropped it in your computer, and did a run. We'll go ahead and use TimeSpy for that. Um, this is with a 9900KF Intel at a 5.0 all-core overclock. And again, this is the For the Win 3 model. Totally stock, default settings, just as you took it out the box. So with that being said, we'll go ahead and run TimeSpy, and we'll be able to compare the results um, to when we put in a little overclock in the card. Now it's worth saying that even though it's supposed to run at 1800, with the way the NVIDIA Boost works, it's actually going to probably more, more or less run the card at like 1900. It like automatically overclocks a card for you, even if you don't tell it to essentially. So I'll go ahead and shut up. And here's the uh, first first run. Again, default settings. Here it is. All right, that was uh, just about finishing up the first run. Again, this was default settings. And we just put in ex almost exactly uh, 16,000. Uh, so what we'll do now is I'll go ahead and give you a little bit of, a, of an idea of what I'm going to do for the next test. And we'll go from there.
All right, guys, so we just finished the uh, default settings. I'm now going to go ahead and show you a real quick few tweaks that you can do just to see if it's even worth our time. Uh, I just went ahead and maxed out the power and the GPU temp settings. You may notice that 118 is higher than yours goes to. You're able to change that by downloading a new BIOS. Uh, this is the EVGA 450 watt aftermarket BIOS that I uh, went and loaded to the card. It's really pretty easy. Maybe it's two minutes of work. And just for uh, the sake of this uh, test, we're just going to max out the voltage. We're going to try adding 50 extra on the clock to get us over uh, the 2 gigahertz uh, barrier. Go ahead and add 750 to the, uh, the memory. And I did a much more aggressive setting on the fans just to make sure we try to keep it cool. Uh, we'll go ahead and run the same exact test. See, like I said, is it worth our time? Or should you just kind of leave it as is and... Uh, in my mind, I always like tweaking stuff. I can't, I can't ever let anything be stock. So I always like tweaking, even if there's probably not much, much to be had. My best guess is there's probably only three to five percent. This card from Nvidia comes out pretty hot, anyways. Uh, no pun intended. So go ahead. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll shut up, and let's see the uh, results at the end. All right, so that's just about concluded that uh, test. Let's see uh, what we get. 16.633. All right, guys, so uh, all the runs are done, or both runs are done now. Uh, we can see that we gained just over 600 points on the score. This is the um, default settings, and this is with the uh, overclock settings. Uh, we can see uh, that... 
the overall score in, increased by just just under four percent. Um, you know, in terms of uh, frames per second gained, you're looking at about five frames per second um, in in test number one and what about four and a quarter in uh, test number two. Um, you know, the, these aren't huge gains. Um, but, you know, if you're like me, I, I like to get top performance at everything. I like to modify everything. I just I just can't help myself, um, you know, so I'm very satisfied with with these results. I think the way NVIDIA has the card coming to you, it's already pushed pretty much to the edge. Um, so that's why you don't see huge gains here, but it's still worth it nonetheless. Uh, so, again, just to give you guys an idea of what type of difference this 3080 gets over my last 1080. I had a 1080 for the win two, uh, same manufacturer, EVGA. Um, I actually had a pretty good overclock, almost 2.1 uh, gigahertz on that card, but the 3080 just absolutely annihilates it. I mean, we're talking gains of over 125% uh, over a card. I mean, this card only costs like what, $200 more, I think, when the, when I when it debuted. Um, Really, this this card's a home run. If you can get your hands on one, uh, definitely go for it for sure. Um, I was lucky enough to get mine through uh, EVGA's uh, auto notify system. So uh, that's really about it. If you have any questions, go ahead and put them in the description. I mean, in the comments. I'll definitely read them. I appreciate you guys watching the video. Stay tuned. Thanks. Have a good night.